in this particular video, this is going to show you six foot privacy uh, vinyl fencing. And this particular uh, privacy fencing is tongue and groove panels, which interlock together. And I'll show you real briefly what the install trick is on this. First thing you want to note is when you look down the line, if you roll completely down the line, you'll see that all posts are in sync with one another. That's achieved by a string line. And one of the biggest things I could tell you with any kind of wood or vinyl fencing, a lot of people are under mis misconception. You have to install it in wet cement. You don't. You use dry cement with a spear pick. Spear pick actually packs it down. First six inches of the hole is the most important part to be packed because that's going to keep that post from rocking left and right and tilting over. I can't tell you how many homes you can just stand here and look around at and see the posts are all crooked, whacked out of style. Here's one right over there. I'll show you real quick. Let me make sure I get this for you. Now we don't have a full view here. It's too far. Um, long story short, you want to make sure everything is done correctly. Anyway, when you dig your hole, you level up your post, and then simply what you do is you take a 60 to 80 pound bag of dry cement. You put six inches on the bottom, you tamp and pack it, keep spear pa packing it. Could be a, a broomstick, anything. You just keep packing it, packing it, packing it. Add some more cement, pack it some more. Add more cement, pack it some more. It's all dry. By the time you're done, that particular post, you can build off of it. It's rock solid. You'll never move it. What Mother Nature will do is Mother Nature will cure that post over the course of a month and it'll turn that dry powdered, well packed cement into high dense cured concrete. And this way you won't have to worry about it. An easy, easy example is when you slam a gate. Post doesn't move. You always get a little vibration on the fence. As I wiggle it, that's normal. But you want it to come right back to where it's supposed to be. That's normal. That's the, the nature of vinyl. As with anything in length. The more length you add, the more flexibility there is. So here's a look at the inside line goes all the way down. If you pan up the long side of the fence, it's a nice straight shot. And right across the back. And what I recommend you do is you try to contour with the ground. Good thing about vinyl is if you have to sit it right on the grass, it's okay. It's not going to rot. You don't want to sit it on the grass to the point where it's popping your post up. So you want to be kind of right there. There's always an implied sag with vinyl. As time progresses and the sun heats it up, it'll actually sway bow to the center in a downward position. So if you're actually on the ground, you're actually benefiting by it because that'll keep your panels from, from falling. Then you'll have a couple areas here that you might have a little bit of fill. That's nothing more than just rake out some additional dirt into it. And this particular job here was a panel post replacement. What you see in vinyl was exactly here in wood stockade fence, which was dilapidated and falling. So as a bonus, we gave this particular homeowner a second gate, the side yard access that they ordinarily would not have.